The work of a guru is an uninteresting job. It's like taking you on a tour of the projection room. <laughs> you can control the cinema the way you want it. You can retire and watch the movie. The sun neither rises nor sets, but what a glorious deception <laughs> So from small things to big things, from the littlest of things in our lives to the largest things that you perceive, that is a series of deceptions. To be able to see the deception from backstage. If you ever been in the theatre, not the… okay, even the cinema theatre, The drama is all real, what's happening there. But it's just one light bulb and two wheels spinning. If you go to the projection room and see, it's just one light bulb and two wheels spinning, that's all. So much drama. Love will happen, war will happen, fight will happen, peace will happen. An enlightenment may happen <laughs> but it's just a light bulb and two wheels. You're a little more real because this is a play of fire elements. It is not about one who does not enjoy the play or the cinema is a fool. But one who gets caught up in the play or a cinema is a much bigger fool. One who manages to enjoy the play to the health and still never ever is entangled with the process, who understands that it starts with advertisement and closes with the titles. <laughs> Have you seen the titles in the symmetry? <laughs> All the actors who have been till now <laughs> If you do not understand, it's just a play in between. If you get caught up with the play, that is when so many things which are not real becomes real. And what is absolutely real, will be completely lost. So, the the work of a guru is an uninteresting job. It's not like taking you to the movies. It's like taking you on a tour of the projection room <laughs> But I promise you, if you behave, I'll take you to the movies <laughs> So, uh, why should we destroy the beauty of the movie? by going into the projection room and see that there are no brave men there, there are no beautiful women there, there is no great drama there, just two wheels in a light bulb. Why should one destroy the beauty of the cinema by going and visiting the projection room? If the cinema was about some other actors, it wouldn't be necessary, we could just enjoy the movie. But the problem is, 
you have a role to play. It's best to know that it is just two wheels spinning and a light bulb. It was just other actors playing and you could just sit in your chair and watch and pop the corn. <laughs> then we could just ignore the projection room, just enjoy the movie, who the hell cares how it comes. But now you have a role to play and you are not holding the hand of the director. If a director does not hold the hand of an actor, even the stars, the very well-known stars will be a complete mess. So it doesn't matter how brilliant you are, how capable you are, if you don't hold the hand of the creator, your life will be a complete mess. It doesn't matter. If you're successful, it'll be one kind of mess. If you're a failure, it'll be another kind of mess. If you know how to play the game, if you know how to play your role, and still you're conscious of the mechanics of the projection room, then you can control the cinema the way you want it. If you hold the hand of the director, then it can be a wonderful experience. And above all, you can retire and watch the movie.